Right, this is going to be a modern Phalaenopsis orchid buttonhole. I'm going to make it with some silver bullion wire. I'm going to incorporate some little diamantes, which we're going to glue in at the end. A diamante headed pin, scissors and the floral adhesive. We need to clear ourselves a little bit of space to start with. So we're going to make a framework with the wire. We need to use quite a lot of the silver bullion, just spreading it out either onto the floor or onto a bench in front of yourselves. You can already see how it catches the light really nicely and it can be used to make modern and more traditional designs. This is more of a modern buttonhole. I would maybe design this one for the groom or perhaps a witness at a wedding. But it really is a special buttonhole that really needs to be seen. I think I've got enough wire at the moment there. So we're now going to start to form the shape. Just want to work with it very delicately. We want to create a natural effect which we're then going to sew together again with the bullion wire. So you can see we're now starting to get it under control. At this stage, place the orchid head onto it. We can see that the wire is still too big, but we can get an idea of the proportions that we're looking for. We want an even spread of the wire, so you can just keep working with it until you're happy with the look that you've got. The more you work with it, the more it behaves itself. Again, Drag the orchid's head onto there, and that's the shape, that's the size that I'm looking for. I want the orchid to be surrounded by the wire, but I want the orchid to be the dominant part of the buttonhole. I don't want it to be overshadowed by the wire. Put the orchid to one side, and now, as I mentioned, we're just going to stitch it together. So for this, just start and create a nice neat edge, making sure all the ends of the wire are hidden from view and not going to damage the suit that they'll be pinned onto. So we just saw this through. So you can see the effect that we're already getting. We've got a nice smooth edge there, still with texture but it's nice and neat, whereas this edge obviously I haven't got to yet. So we're going to work on that now and just bring it all under control. So we're nearly around this now. And then we're going to start to use this length to create a stem effect. So you see the effect we've got now? We've got nice, neat edges. Still natural, we don't want it to look too formed. Just keep checking the orchid on it. And now we're going to start, as I said, to create the stem effect. I'm going to just bring this up. And start to form the shape that we want. Right, so that literally is the starting point. I want a stem as if it was a flower and it gives a little bit of colour down the outfit. I'm going to cut some more bullion. And we're literally going to bind it and wrap it around the stem, building up the layers to make a nice, strong addition. And because we've taken the wire from the top, we know it's going to be secure because it's one continual piece of wire. Keeping the stem nice and neat. And if you feel as though you need to catch it into the top, you can always just loop it through the top and bring it back down again. And it just reinforces the part where the two are joined. You can see we're starting to get a nice strong stem with this now. Again, 
you're just winding it down the stem. I'm going to see if that looks thick enough now or whether we need to need, need to add more wire, making sure again all the ends are hidden. So just keep putting the orchid onto it. I feel as though I want a little bit more wire on there, but not too much. So just catch them down there. Just makes it slightly firmer. But this type of design could be used to form the base of a bridal bouquet. Made on a large scale, you could have a beautiful trail for a bridal bouquet as well. So again, once you've learned the technique, it can be used for many, many things. You could then attach it onto a handbag. You may make it as a large corsage or something to wear on the shoulder for a bridesmaid. It needn't necessarily be kept as a buttonhole. So we're just finishing off this length and now I'm happy with that stem. Just bring the wire to a finish and again make sure you tuck the end in so that there's no ends visible. Right, so we've got our stem now. We just want to make a slight curl in the stem. Again just to add a little bit of detail. This is personal choice, you might prefer to leave it straight. I just think it adds a little bit of detail. It means that when it's worn it gives a lovely shape. We're then ready to add our Phalaenopsis head. Again, I'm going to take the bulk of the stem off. I'm going to actually slightly wire it to give a little bit of support, just as we have done. Just binding the wire on. You can see I've cut the stem really nice and short. Keeps the weight of the buttonhole to a minimum. So I'm just going to wire that to it. So you've just attached the wire. So we're going to attach the orchid exactly where we want it. And at this stage, I'm just going to add a dab of glue. I'll use this wire, but I want to make sure that the orchid is in the right place. So with the floral adhesive, we're just going to pop a little dab, and we really don't need much, onto the back of the orchid. Pop some into there. You can then push it onto the back of the wire and just give it a couple of ticks to go off. While we're doing that though, we can continue with this wire, literally just reinforcing the stem, but it also means that the Phalaenopsis orchid is a lot more secure. We've got it positioned with the wire and with the adhesive so it's really going to be nice and strong all day. You need to make sure that it's nice and firm and also that it's in position on the buttonhole. So we're just waiting for that to completely set. While we're doing that, we're going to add the beads in. So these are just very, very dainty de Montes, which will just catch the light and we've placed them at the bottom of the design. So with a tiny little dab of glue onto each of them, we're then just going to pop them into position. We're just going to make a little group of these. Again, it's just a little detail. If this was the groom, it may be that the bride has a few crystals, diamantes in her dress. The groom obviously won't know, but the bride's probably ordered his flowers. So it just means that they'll match really beautifully together. We'll just put the final one on. Get rid of any strings of glue. Just press those firmly into position. By this stage, we can see the orchid is nice and firm on there. It's not going to go anywhere. And we've got our finished buttonhole. Always send buttonholes out with a pin. As I mentioned, we've got the Diamante headed pins, which will just really pick up the pearls that we've put into there. And I will just deliver the pin with the buttonhole. We're just going to add a final spray of the Clear Life.
and I think that would look absolutely beautiful pinned on to any outfit. <laughs>